Hey everyone, John Henry here from support at schooloftrade.com and today we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of a different type of trade. This is a wave setup uh, that we've got uh, and this is going to be geared towards a little bit larger accounts. Um, so I'm going to be looking at scaling in at several different positions here. Uh, and then once we begin to scale in, I'll be I'll begin to look at uh, taking them off in different locations. So uh, basically, what I'm looking for is my first fill at 101.94, uh, second at 20.2, third one at 21 even, uh, fourth one at 22.1, and fifth one all the way up at 102.7. Uh, now the stop is still going to go above the 102.3.5 high, um, but using this, if we get filled all the way up, our average position is going to be around 102.1. So once I get my first fill here at 109.4, uh, I'm going to be looking at initially, uh, just like our normal wave patterns, is looking at taking my first target off at around 115.1, uh, 115.2 in that area. Uh, and then as we get filled, as we move higher, I'm going to start basically adding in a way to scale out of the same position. Um, so we have our first fill. So now what I want to do is above this high, I want to add my first stop. So I'll add a buy stop there. Now because I'm doing this manually and I'm manually scaling in, I need to do this all manually um, instead of having an automated trade management. Now you can have an automated trade management, but I find when I'm doing scale in methodology like this, uh, it can get in the way more than it really helps. Um, so now that we've got our first fill, if we just fail down from here, uh, I'm going to be looking at just taking my first target off at 105.1 and calling it a day. Uh, so we'll come back once we get a little bit of movement in our favor here, uh, and then if we if we do go a little bit higher, we'll be looking at filling these uh, filling these entries first. Uh, I'll be adding to the stops, and then I'll be uh, basically filling in the blanks for the for the targets on the way up. So uh, we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we had our fill all the way up to the highs. Uh, we've got our stop now at five contracts at 102.3.6. Uh, our first target's going to come off at around the halfway back area at 109.9. I got two contracts getting taken off there. Uh, I've got three ticks from the lows. We're taking off uh, two more contracts at 107.2. And then our final runner is going to be at 105.1. Uh, so if we go any higher, uh, my my average entry basically is is at 102.1.1. I'm probably a decimal place after that because it's an average position. So my overall risk on this is going to be up to it's 25 ticks on five contracts, uh, about. So my overall risk. Um, is still pretty manageable considering my overall targets if we fill all the way down are going to be way way higher than that so uh, once we get this first target filled we're going to move the stop a little bit lower uh, above this high one tick above uh, so it'll be at 1022 or I'm sorry 1023.0 uh, and then as we move a little bit further down once we get the second target filled here at 1017.2 then the stop will move to entry uh, and then as soon as we start breaking this low at 1016.9 then we'll begin to trail our stop down with it just in case it decides to come back early. Uh, so once we start getting these targets filled, uh, we'll come back and then we'll go over um, a little bit more about, while we're waiting, we'll go over a little bit more about this, this setup itself. So um, this setup itself is actually, it's, it's a pretty nice setup. So you can see um, from over the weekend, we had, uh, we had the Labor Day weekend and there was a big, big gap in price uh, on the Russell. And then we, we've really just been a rocket ship up to the top side. And you can see we made a one, two, three, four. Uh, and now the cool thing is with this pattern and what makes this pretty potent is that we've now broken this three low and now we're setting up a one, two, three correction back down to these lows down here. Uh, now, whether or not this turns out to be uh, a short one, two, three, four pullback into another move up, uh, we're not going to know until probably tomorrow because this is a little bit larger time frame. Uh, but looking at this overall, um, it's not really uh, th this pattern itself for our target down here at 1.015.1 is is just about right. That's it's one of the one of the best areas to be looking for the turnaround in this if it does go higher. Uh, now this candle that just formed here, this this big purple candle right here, that's a big big reversal candle, uh, and you can see we mark it in purple because it is a reversal candle per our rules for that. So that's a really really good signal that we're getting a reversal bar uh, when we're already short and we've averaged in our entire position. So uh, it, it's a really really nice area to be seeing that. So uh, if we start getting these targets filled, we'll come back and uh, we'll go over the rest of the trade.
Okay, so we filled both of the targets. I've got my stop move to break even. I need to adjust this down to one contract now because I've only got one contract left on this. Now we did equal this low, so I'm not going to begin trailing my stop yet, but as soon as we start breaking that low, then I'm going to look to uh, to start trailing my stop down with this move. Uh, now this has been a little of a longer term move, uh, more of a day trade than anything else, but keeping in mind this is also a pretty big time frame uh, with a 600 tick chart. So uh, seeing this completion of this three, uh, this one, two, three pattern, now that we've equaled this low, we've got a really good chance of pushing lower into this. So uh, the overall target still sitting down at 105 15.1, uh, and then we'll be looking to uh, to hop out of that trade there. Uh, if we start breaking these lows, then we'll start trailing our stop down as we go lower. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll come back when all is said and done. Okay, perfect. So we filled our final, final target all the way down here. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to cancel my, my last buy stop order there. Uh, and now the the overall, we're looking at, uh, we've got a reversal candle setting up down at these lows. So we might not see much of a push lower. This might be a good area to uh, to begin looking for a reversal back up to that, uh, basically a new one, two, three, four uh, on a bigger time frame back up again. But uh, overall on the 600 tick chart, at least, that was the trade for this chart. Nice wave pattern setup. Uh, and overall, just a really, really good trade. So uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to support at schooloftrade.com. Be sure to get back to you as soon as we can. Have a good one.